Welcome back. In this video, we're just going to walk you through the solutions to the three code swapping problems. Uh, swapping can be you know, a little tricky for the beginner, but let's hope we can clear it up here. So task number one was to swap the first and second values in the array. You know that that's slot zero and slot one. Okay. To start us off here, you have to have an array to work with. So you were asked to make an array and fill it with the values zero to seven. And so that's that little loop there, which gets us this, okay? Slots zero to seven filled with values. Now, here's the typical bad swap that a lot of students code in their very first time. They go, oh, that's easy. I'm gonna make list slot zero equal to list one and list one equal to list slot zero. And it looks so good at first, right? I mean, obviously you sort of know what you're doing, but watch what happens when we run this code. When we go list zero equals list one. Okay, so list slot zero, set yourself equal to list slot one. Well, that's a one. Okay, so I put a one in slot zero. Then it says list slot one, set yourself to list slot zero. So I go here and I say, well, list slot one, set yourself to list slot zero. But the thing is, you just changed slot zero. It no longer holds a zero anymore. That zero's gone. It's never coming back. Now you have a one in here. And so literally, one, it puts this one into there. And this is what you get. You've lost your value. Now that's not good because we know the result should be this. Well, seeing that you've sort of overridden the value and lost it, it sort of gives you a hint what you have to do here. To do a proper swap, what you have to do is this code right here. And this code right here shows you how you have to save the value of list slot zero. Then you can copy the value of list slot one into it. And then list slot one equals the value you saved before you uh, got rid of it. So you sort of saved it in this temp variable. So that's a good swap. There's other ways to do it, but that's sort of the clean beginner way. Three lines of code to do a swap. That really is one you want to have in your back pocket. Uh, it's used in a lot of different routines, right? Swapping two values in an array. Now, just to check if it's swapped, just going to print out the entire array, and you should see, yes, in fact, the zero and the one were swapped. So that was the first problem. Second problem was select two random positions in the array and swap their values. Well, it's very similar to this, except instead of zero and slot one, make those random values that are acceptably within the bounds of the array. So, I mean, here's a crude way. No, I shouldn't say crude way. Here's a way that works really nicely. I'm going to find a random value or a random position in the array. You'll see my code here. I know my array is eight long, right? When I made it up here, it was eight values long. So notice how I do my random, math.random times eight. This would give us the value zero to seven. So hopefully you're sort of getting the hang of math.random by now. Now what could make this code even better is I replace this eight with, you guessed it, list.length. When we replace it with list.length, this makes it so this code will work for an array of any length, right? So that's great stuff. So I find two positions. Who knows what they find, right? Maybe it finds three and seven. And now I basically run my swap code. Some temporary variable is going to equal list slot three. List slot three equals list slot seven. List slot seven equals whatever the value was that I had read before in the temporary variable. So it's the exact same code here. I'm just using random position numbers inside these slots. Lots of variables, lots of square brackets, lots of fun. Pretty good. And I do another check here. I'll print out the array, check to see if two numbers actually swap position. Okay, and you'll probably see that they did. The last routine you were asked to write was shuffle the whole list. So here we go again. I'm going to do the same idea. I'm basically going to take this code, and I just want that code to run. I don't know. If the list was 10 long, 8 long, I want to run it 20, 25 times. Okay, run it a bunch of times. So there's a whole bunch of swaps. 
until you're pretty sure you swapped enough that the list is shuffled. So just to see that actual code, there's nothing new here other than I put that entire swap code inside a for loop. So after I refill the list to make it look good, 0 to 7, I'm going to run this loop list length times 2. So if the, my length was 8, this is going to run 16 times. I'm pretty sure that's good enough to swap everything. Find two random swats, swap the values. When you're all done, print it out, and you should see you have a nicely shuffled list. No values are lost. No values are duplicated. Okay, everything's worked well. So if you got those three all on your own, that's fantastic. If you got the first two, that's good. If you got the first one, yeah, not bad. Okay, but you do definitely want to look at this code and make sure you can do all three of these. Okay, they're sort of standard routines with arrays. Thanks for watching. Have fun with the rest of the array practice.